So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hello there and welcome to Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. I'm your host, Robin Norgren, and we are still in a series called Love Poems from God, but we are looking at and listening to a new poet. Uh, The name is Hafiz. God revealed a sublime truth to the world when he sang, I am made whole by your life. Each soul, each soul completes me. Hafiz is the most beloved poet of Persians and is considered to be one of history's greatest lyrical geniuses. Though he is still little known in the Western world, many notables, including Emerson, Goethe, Garcia Lorca, the composer Brahms, and even Nietzsche were deeply affected by him. Emerson once remarked that Hafiz is a poet for poets, and Goethe wrote that Hafiz has no peer. The range of Hafiz's work is astounding, striking a chord of recognition in people from every stratum of mind. Hafiz, the youngest of three sons, was born in the beautiful garden city of Shiraz in east in southern Persia, where he remained most of his life. Shiraz escaped the ravages of the Tartar and the Mongol invasions during this violent and chaotic time. And Persian life as Hafiz knew it, as a child and young adult, was for the most part wonderful and steeped in nature's poetry. And Hafiz's father undoubtedly recited the verse of Sadi and Rumi to his sons as well as the Quran. In fact, Hafiz later chose the pen name of of Hafiz, which means memorizer, and denotes a person who knows the entire Quran by heart. When Hafiz was in his teens, his father, who had been a coal merchant, died. And Hafiz began working as a baker's assistant to help support the family. At night, he attended school, eventually obtaining a classical medieval education. A famous story about Hafiz told many ways, says, When he was 21, he was delivering bread to a wealthy noble family and glimpsed a remarkably beautiful girl on the terrace of a home. He fell desperately in love with her, but she had already been promised to another. Still, he began writing and singing out poems for her that expressed his longing and adoration. The poems were so touching that many in Shiraz came to know of him, and of them, and they were sung to other sweethearts. Out of desperation to win her, Hafiz undertook a forty-night vigil at the tomb of a famous saint. For legend had it that anyone who could accomplish this feat would win his, their heart's desire. Indeed, after a Herculean effort, a co- upon completion of the 40th night of vigil, it is said the archangel Gabriel appeared before Hafiz and asked him what he desired. Gazing upon the radiant, radiant beauty of God's angel, Hafiz forgot his human love, and the thought rushed into his mind, What must God's beauty be like? My soul needs to see that. I need to see God. Gabriel then revealed to him the whereabouts of a spiritual teacher in Shiraz whom, if served faithfully, would would bring about the fulfillment of his wish. 
This teacher was Muhammad Atur, who lived a seemingly ordinary life to the world's eyes, that of a chemist or perfumer with a shop in Shiraz. Few knew of his secret status as a great spiritual master. Atar guided Hafiz in the development of his poetry and in the unfolding of his soul. It is said that Hafiz's poems contain and reveal all the stages of divine vision, experience, and love. He cloaked all these truths in vernacular garb, as was the tradition in Sufi schools at that time since secrecy was often essential in the climate of life-threatening fundamentalism. During the next decade of his life, Hafiz gained much fame and influence as a poet, obtaining court patronage and a teaching position at a college that may have even been founded for him. In his early 30s, as opposing, an opposing sect ruled Shiraz and Hafiz, and and they were dismissed from the college. And it was thought that he probably fell back upon his skill as a copyist as he mastered the art of calligraphy doing it during his educational training. Some years later, he was reinstated. And in his early 40s, he, began, he again fell out of favor with the ruling court as his poems were often very controversial, and he even more so. Eventually, Hafiz had to flee Shiraz for his safety. After several years, he was able to return. When Hafiz was about 60, it is believed that his beloved master, Muhammad Atir, granted Hafiz his deepest, most constant desire, union with God. Hafiz's 40-year spiritual consecration bequeathed to history some of the most profound, mystical verse in print. An estimated 5,000 poems were written by Hafiz throughout his life, though it is a tremendous loss that not one poem remains in his own handwriting, and the authenticity of anything tagged Hafiz will always be an issue that concerns scholars. Let the gauge of authenticity be courageous and true, like these words attributed to Hafiz. No one could ever paint a too wonderful picture of my heart. Or God. It is said of Hafiz that he wrote with sweet, playful genius unparalleled in world literature. He is rightfully called the tongue of the invisible, for though his works, for through his works he continues to sing beautiful and wild love songs to this world from God. The first one is called The Christ's Breath. I am a hole in a flute that the Christ's breath moves through. Listen to this music. And this other one called Our Union. Our union is like this. You feel cold, so I reach for a blanket to cover our shivering feet. A hunger comes into your body, so I run to my garden and start digging potatoes. You asked for a few words of comfort and guidance, and I quickly kneel by your side, offering you a whole book as a gift. You ache with loneliness one night so much you weep, and I say, here is a rope Tie it around me. Hafiz will be your companion for life. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure and share this podcast with someone who you think would be encouraged by it. And also, I truly appreciate you, and I am so glad that you have come by. Like and subscribe if you want to make sure and hear all of my podcast submissions.